<laughs> Good morning. Um, I'm here with Joe. We're doing a um, fire fire alarm system upgrade. So we were just gonna kind of start off the day with asking him a few questions, just so you guys can kind of learn about fire alarm systems and why you need one. So Joe, I'll let you introduce yourself so people know um, who you are. Yep, my name is Joe. I'm a fire alarm um, install technician at Corson. Um, been here for about uh, two years now. Um, What's your yeah. favorite thing about your job? Um, I would say it's challenging. Um, there's always something to think about. Um, uh, you know, you go to different places, um, see different people every day. It doesn't, you know, really get monotonous. Stays interesting. It, it does stay interesting. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Um, well, what? Why do people need a fire alarm system? Just kind of start it out basic. Um, so, I mean, the basic components of a fire alarm system, um, you know, you have pole stations, smoke detectors that obviously are going to um, alert people of a fire in the building. Um, there's also devices that um, are associated with the smoke control, um, you know, so that it can direct smoke out of the building in case something happens. Um, uh, this particular system that we're installing, um, they're going to have a few extras that um, it'll make announcements for um, active shooters and um, emergency weather and, and things like that too to alert the building um, to evacuate. Cool. So not really just, it's called a fire alarm system, but not necessarily just fires, just for life safety in general kind of yeah, for the buildings? Yeah, you, you can um, do a lot of things with these newer systems. Um, and I know this one we're They've been taking out an old one, an old system, putting in a new system. How often does that typically need to happen? Um, I mean, really, just when it starts getting hard to find parts. Um, you know, this system is almost 25 years old, um, so there's there's constantly uh, service calls being on it, um, and you know the parts are just harder and harder to find. Um, so then, when you decide to make that investment and upgrade the system. Um, you know, it's pretty much up to the building owner when they want to, to put the, the time and money into that kind of upgrade. Okay. Um, how long have you guys been here? How long does it, I guess, does it, it depends on the size of the building, I'm sure, but how long does it typically take to install a new fire alarm system? Um, well, this, this one, this is about our fifth week here. Um, you know, it, it just depends on the size of the building. Um, this has three different buildings that are attached to the same fire alarm system, so there's a lot of devices that need to uh, be changed out. Um, for changing all of the devices, it took us about four weeks, and this week is pretty much just moving all of the wires over from the old panel over into the new panel, um, and then there'll be a few days um, for testing everything as well. Um, now, when it comes to the in like inspecting and the requirements on a fire alarm safety, what kind of components are involved in that? <clears throat> um, it's uh, an annual thing. Um, everything has to be inspected annually um, per fire code. Um, and then... Um, so what kind of things do they check? Um, they'll pull the pull stations. They'll actually put fake smoke into um, the smoke detectors. Mm -hmm. Um, they'll flow the water through the sprinkler pipes, make sure those devices are communicating to the, the panels. Um, you know, when a, a certain smoke detectors go off, the elevators recall. Um, you know, there's door, uh, doors that are hold, held open by magnets. Mm -hmm. Those need to drop. Um, smoke control dampers in the duct work, um, those open and close. So um, things like that that are inspected. Okay. Um, and then I'm sure typically when there's just small issues, we repair them. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's essentially up to the building owner. Um, if they want to repair Yeah, they're, they're the ones that own the fire alarm system. So the inspection will report any um, deficiencies. <coughs> and then it's up to the building owner whether they want to get those fixed or not. Um, you know, it's really how much they want to spend or you know sometimes they'll have a contract with a certain company that will come in and, okay. and fix whatever issues they have with the system. Cool. Um, well I'm sure you guys can see this behind us but this is the old system that they're taking out so um, what are you exactly are you going to show us today? Um, so 
earlier we have uh, pretty much gutted this side out um, and it's essentially just labeling everything, making sure you know what wires went where. Um, we're going to be taking this metal enclosure out um, and then we're, uh, this is the new panel over here. Uh, when we'll need to cut out a hole big enough in the wall to recess that into the wall and make sure all of the uh, piping that's going into that cabinet fits in there and then we can start putting the wires back into the conduit and then hooking it up to the new panel. Cool. Well, thanks for taking the time to answer some questions. I know everyone appreciates it. So um, join us shortly and we'll show you guys some more fun stuff. Thanks. All right.